Hey guys, Dave here, and uh, we're going to learn how to build cities the fast way. And be able to save your, well, your design and use it later. And a lot of us, we've started out looking like this. Nothing to play around with, nothing to do except for what? Build your city. This is an account that I just made up. Um, not really using it except for videos. So let's get into this and see how to do it. Assuming that you have the power bot. If not, oh boy, you're going to be hurting, dude. So click on the power bot. And right here is the build. Here's your inventory, overview, player, search, build. Sometimes it's a little bit different spot than what mine is, but find it. Then what you do is, before you start building, what I do is I uncheck the building for which I'm going to be using and uh, working on so that things don't start uh, before I want it to. And I make sure the auto build is on or off, depending if I want this city to continue or not. And we're going to, what the heck, you know what I mean? So I'll go back to this city, which has nothing um, in there. Go down to here where it says new. Click on new. Now, this, this map here is this map here. And it says it's unascended. Now, you can click it's whichever one when you ascend, but right now it's just unascended city. Now, the way I set mine up is going to be completely different than the way you do it. Because I usually put my cottages over here and my barracks and do stuff a little strange. Well, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to hit pause on this. And I'm going to set this up and I'm going to come back. I lied. <laughs> I thought of one thing. You know what's really stupid? Is why didn't they go like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? No. They had to go 2, 3, and then you go, where's 4? Okay, there's 4, where's 5? Five? 5 is over here. Dumb, right? But I'm going to jump in here and say, hey, I'm going to set number 275 as cottage. So I go over here, 2, 5, 7 cottages and I usually hit like 32 over here I drop it down and I usually hit it with the King Hall why That's the way I am and I usually hit 10 in my lab there it is and I usually hit uh, <clears throat> like 16 here is my rally why because all the stuff pops up over here and you can't see your rally when you want it. Make sense? So I usually make 16 my rally. Not really. Look at there, you guys can see it and I can't. There it is. 16 is going to be that. Um, 19 tower. Watch tower. Why? Another reason. So I can see it. So I'm going to go through and set these all up, and you can do it any way you want it, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I got these set up. Um, boy, you know, people ask all the time, how many cottages? How many barracks? I'm not going to get into that. I'll let you figure that out on your own. Um, but there's your map, and there's all what I designated for the little dots here, which are messed up. Then you can go to the field. Look at that. You can set them all up. And I'm going to pause this again and then I'm going to come back and show you what I did. And I'm not saying again, do exactly what I do. Do what you'd like. You may not agree with what I did. That's okay. You can say what you want. You can have your own opinion. Other people can say whatever don't care. The main thing here is I'm showing you how to use this auto build.
But what I do is I make these three farms, I make these three sawmills, you know, and then quarries, and then the rest are all mines. Okay? Does it matter? No. Then, once you have that all set, add to queue. Oops, save changes. <laughs> Make sure you do that. Then add to queue. And here they are. There's all your builds. All the way up to level 9. See? Maximum 9. And <clears throat> let's say, wow, I like that. I'm going to keep it. Export means it's going to go onto your uh, computer. Import is going to put into the game. Export out of the game into your computer. Going to export it. So we'll click on to that. And I'm going to hit pause right after or before I click that. So hold on here. What I did was I clicked export. And it took me to my document files. And here is a folder that I made, Mad Dog 2. There it is. Now, one thing I do, you can hit there and save, but pretty soon you do a couple of them and you're like, when was that? Well, I do a little something different. I back this all the way out. City layout. I put today's date, 2018, 0.01. Today's the 19th. And I put... City one. Is that crazy? Hit save. Now, <clears throat> if I want to, if I want to go over here and choose a file, I can go up here to Mad Dog Two. Go to this one. Open. See how it fills it in right here. Import. And it imports into this. You hit save. Add to queue. There they are. Now, when you go and you do your third city, and oh, wait, let's wait. We on auto build? Okay. I got to check this. See? Now it shows that I have 34 days, 6 hours, and 34 minutes on this build. <laughs> yeah. So next time uh, you go over here and you're going to do your third city, you got your third city. It's like this. It's all plain. There's nothing there. You can go over to your power bot, hit build, and over here you'll have your third city, correct? So then what you do is you just come up here. I'm going to turn it off a minute. Go to your designer. And you go to the new, you hit choose file, click on this again. It says city one, but if you want it the same as city two, you hit open, you import, puts it all in, save changes, add to queue. Now you're building city three. None of this headache stuff that I keep hearing people doing. Anyway, you can do that with Ascended and so on. So I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, give me a jing jing and uh, see if I can do. I don't claim to know everything about this stinking game. It's crazy. Let me tell you. Whoops. I know it's crazy. Oh, later. Build on.